We are asked to determine which property of real numbers is shown, and we are given the commutative property of addition, the associative property of addition, the identity property of addition, and the inverse property of addition. Let's begin by reviewing these four properties. First, the commutative property of addition is given as a plus b equals b plus a. When we change the order of a sum, we are using the commutative property of addition. Next, we have the associative property of addition, which is given as the quantity a plus b plus c equals a plus the quantity b plus c. When we change the grouping symbols or parentheses within a sum, we are using the associative property of addition. Next, we have the identity property of addition, which is given as a plus zero equals a, or zero plus a equals a, where zero is called the additive identity. And then finally, we have the inverse property of addition, which is given as a plus negative a equals zero. When adding opposites, the sum is always zero, and this is the inverse property of addition. We can say that negative a, or the opposite of a, is called the additive inverse of a. For number one, we have four plus zero equals four. Whenever we add zero to a real number, we are illustrating the identity property of addition, which is c. Next, we have the quantity four plus eight plus seven equals four plus the quantity eight plus seven. Notice how we are changing the grouping symbols or parentheses within the sum, which is the associative property of addition, which is b. Next, we have four plus negative four equals zero. When adding opposites, the sum is always zero. This is the inverse property of addition, which is d. And then finally, we have four plus eight equals eight plus four. Notice how we change the order of the sum, which is an example of the commutative property of addition, which is a. I hope you found this helpful.